Lewis, if you would. Way to go, me. So, about AJ. Where are AJ's parents? You two don't really look related, so... What happened there? They're dead. They were nice people. For the most part. It makes sense. He's a nice kid. For the most part. Hey, I win. Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? Okay, uh, what's the grossest thing you've ever eaten? It's pretty easy, uh, horse eyeballs. Slugs? Cantaloupe. Come on. Dude, I fucking hate cantaloupe. I ate a guy's leg once. I'm kidding. Are you? Booyah! Come on, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, ever have a boyfriend? Oh my god. What? It happened. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I haven't, by the way. That stuff is for suckers. Just causes trouble. Amen. Yeah, but the best kind of trouble, right? Ha, uh, I win. So, Clem, you can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Family? Anyone? The first person who taught me about survival was Lee. <laughs> What'd he teach you? Lots of stuff. Most important thing? How to shoot a gun. Useful stuff. Yeah. I taught AJ the same way, too. I win again. You do indeed. Ask away. What's up with your haircut, Marlin? Oh, boy. Uh, what do you mean? She means looks like a dead cat. Probably smells like one, too. Uh, I look cool. <clears throat> Whatever you say. I say I look cool. Victory Violet. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <clears throat> Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? That is fucked up. <laughs> oh, I know. Lewis, definitely. 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 What? I'd have said the same. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. Ever? Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Lewis. Hey, she wanted me to ask. Yeah, my friend Kenny. What happened? What, like, led up to it? His heart broke, and never put itself back together. Believe me, I did him a favor. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah, it's probably for the best. You wanted me to ask. Let's go, AJ. Uh, good night. Night, AJ. Hey. Long day, huh? Yep. Real long. Uh, I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. Just relax. 
get some sleep. I'm human for a night. In the morning, come find me. We can talk about making this long term. If we can stay? We can talk about it. That looks like a really safe window. It does. Good. This box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like 10? Yeah, like 10. Huh. I, I like to do pictures too. Oh, shit. I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Where the hell is it? Oh. What? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh, Ten Sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to... Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's... it's fine. Don't... don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's... it's fine. It's all right. She says you can keep it. Okay. Huh. I see you're, um, settling in. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. I guess. I always liked this room. Sophie had, like, paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> She had the most amazing voice, real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. After they, afterwards Brody and Ten took down all the paintings and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. Guess I just lost my train of thought. No, oh, they sound like they were great friends. Yeah, Sophie was a good friend. And Minnie, uh, we were close. Me and her. What exactly happened to them, Sophie and Minerva? They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly like a people person, you know? I know I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. You come off all right. I thought you were pretty cool. Oh, thanks, I guess. You were pretty cool, too, out there against those walkers. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. Not bad, kiddo. I should be getting back. Enjoy the art supplies, little man. See ya. Yeah, see ya. <sighs> okay, Alvin Jr., time for bed. Okay, here. For me? For the wall, to make our home look nice. That's a good idea, AJ.
How about here? Uh, AJ? Hey there. What are you doing? This is where I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. Come on, AJ. The bed is way better. Oh, man. This bed is so comfy. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? Nobody's gonna come in. Trust me. That girl just came in. If I stay here, no one can find me. And I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> hey, what's gotten into you? Please, Clem. It's not so bad down here. AJ, listen to me. It's gonna be okay. Please just give the bed a chance. It's soft and warm. I think you'll really like it. <sighs> this bed is really soft. Told you so. It's really, really soft. Good night, AJ. Clem? Hmm? This place is nice. I'm glad we found it. Me too. Stay, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Up here! Come on, Clem, this way. Hey, AJ, wait up. Tintu. Hi. Hey, Tennessee. What are you guys doing? I was looking for more pencils, but I wasn't able to find any. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. But what are they? They... These were the people who protected us. Where are they? I've never seen one before. They're still out there. Someday, maybe you'll meet one. That would be cool. Super cool. Now, give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Hey, give it back. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay. That's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. It's mine. No, it's not. Fine. Thanks. Do you know where Marlon is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. Look! Hey, what'd you find? It's a picture of Marlon and Lewis. They're so little. Wow, they've known each other a long time, huh? Marlon? Stay back. Hey, 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 it's okay. Shh. Here you go. 
Like you said dogs brought back bad memories. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were so scared of them. But I swear, Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. <laughs> Sit, girl. See? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you is all. Here. I'll show you. Do you trust me? Rosie. Shh. Sorry. I promise she's not gonna bite. <sighs> okay. I guess. Get down on her level. Better get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. Now whistle and tell her to lie down. She'll lie down, Rosie. That's so cool. See? Not so hard. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And now Rosie will recognize you. She's really well trained. She was the headmaster's dog, back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, we bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Wow, what a dick. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left. And I'd like it if you and AJ were a part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. What's the trap area? Hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and a Sam are set to go check them today. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car? Pretty sure that place a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. Uh, I got a shack for storage right here, right along the river. It's secure mostly. You get the occasional walker or two come by. Vine Brody should be heading out there in a bit. That's the only road that leads in and out of Erickson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. Wanted this place to be hard to find. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. The greenhouse? Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. Had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years, and the food's become more scarce. So, why not go outside it? <laughs> we can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help, Clementine. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if, if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much. Friends, siblings, I, I can't let another kid die. We're not gonna let that happen. I promise. <sighs> Thanks, Clementine. I appreciate that. I really do. Everyone's counting on me to step up. Be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. But maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? 
Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Asim will, anyway. Lewis, I uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spearfishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. We're gonna go fishing. Okay. Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay? What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, as long as we got enough to eat, you're both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. You know, I've been thinking. I wish we could all go on a road trip together. Road trip? Why bother? It's not like there's anything worth seeing anymore. Oh, come on. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff to see. Maybe Clem could show us around. You're able to get a car working, and you know how to drive? Barely. Come on, bye. I've never driven in my life, but I'd love to learn. Are you sure you trust my driving? I promise I don't usually crash. <laughs> Oh, right. On second thought. Yeah, I think Clem just totaled the last working car in the world. So much for your road trip. Are we going to the car? No, bud. It's broken. Good. I'm sick of the car. I wish this old rust bucket was still working. We could just jump in and start driving. We could take turns sitting in the back. It'd be like driving one of those cars with the top that goes down. And we'd run out of gas eventually. But still, it's fun to imagine, isn't it? <laughs> Where would you go, Clem? If you could drive anywhere you wanted. If gas wasn't an issue. Or a busted carburetor, or flat tires, or the transmission. Buzzkill. I'd drive down to the coastline. Maybe park on the beach and go swimming. That'd be an absolute dream. You could spend every day in the sun. And die of skin cancer. Fun. We're all gonna die. I'll take skin cancer over turn it into a walker any day. I've lived here my entire life. Heck, I'd say I know every inch of these woods. I'd kind of like to unknow it. No use dreaming of what could be. We've got shit to do. Yeah, I guess we should get to work on those fish. We got spears inside the shack. Come on. You go ahead. I'll stay out here. Where are those spears? Hey, about by. I'm sorry she's being a little mean. It's my fault. What do you mean? I was there when those walkers killed Sophie and Minnie. They were really close with Vi, and I think she blames me for what happened to them. I mean, how do you even apologize for something that fucked up? I don't know. Maybe I deserve it. You should talk to her about it. I'm sure she'll listen. <laughs> yeah, right. I tried. I have. It just never seems like the right time. We all used to be friends. <sighs> Guess I just kind of miss that. But when you showed up, I, I don't know. I just haven't seen her warm up to someone in a long time. Hmm. Do you? I mean, I hate to ask this of you, but do you think you could talk to her? See how she feels? About me? It's just been eating me up inside. Look, 
I don't think I should get involved. It sounds like you two should just talk it out yourselves. Oh, right. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, it was stupid of me to ask. I'm gonna go check our fish traps downstream. Hey, what the hell is taking you two so long? See? I'll take this to Vi. There should be some extras lying around. Hey, you. What you looking at? V plus M. Violet and Minerva. What does that mean? Uh, it means they were really good friends. Like me and you were really good friends? Not exactly. Ready to get some fish? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Ah! Shit. Can I join you? Sure. Hey, check out these guys over here. They're swimming against the current. Guess I don't realize it makes them easier targets. I wanna try. Take a spear. Go nuts. Go ahead and try. They're not running. <laughs> Any luck? I got something. Good enough for me. Hey, um, sorry if I was weird last night about the whole room thing. Seeing someone else in there, uh, it was harder than I expected. You'd think I'd be less sentimental by now. <laughs> uh, Don't sweat it. I'm glad we got to know each other. <laughs> yeah, I guess I am too. I mean, it's it's not like I hate her. I just... <clears throat> I wish we could all go on a road trip together. God, she's so... Oh, you know? I'm telling you what I told Brody. I don't want to get involved. Oh. Brody said something, huh? <laughs> Never mind. Looks like they wisened up. Maybe Brody had better luck with the traps. I got one! Clem, I got one! <laughs> Good job. We should get going. You guys catch any fish? We caught some, but not a lot. I didn't get anything. We should catch up with Lewis and Asim, see if they had any better luck. Well, you gonna lead the way? Oh, uh, yeah. Follow me. It's not too far from here. Okay. Where are those guys? Clem, look. Someone cut it. 
is that normal? Someone sabotaged this. This isn't good. A uh, Sam? Lewis! <sighs> Let's spread out. Maybe that'll help us find him. Watch out for monsters. Huh. Empty. Huh. Is this a Bible page? Clem, found something. Monster. Guys, over here! Well, we didn't kill this one. We wouldn't have left it hanging in our trap. What the hell? Found this too. Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. Who is this unlucky fella? Where have you been? Checking nearby traps. The ones that were sprung were all empty. All the rest are broken. Someone robbed us? Oh, great. And now we're gonna starve. Fuck. That's... Fuck. Fuck. It's just... Fuck. It's okay. It's... Breathe, Brody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're gonna be fine. It's just a panic attack. Hey, easy. We'll still find enough food to get us through the... That's not what I'm worried about. Brody, just chill. I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food, you know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. I'll take this hall back to school. And maybe we can ration out something. So what do we do? Eat rocks? You can't eat rocks. I'm aware. Will Marlon kick us out if we don't find food? Well, let's not find out. Where else could we look? Let me think. The train station. It's not too far from here. Maybe, but it's outside the safe zone. There was food in there when AJ and I passed through. It's worth a look. You sure there was food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. Or... We could starve. Fine. Let's go. There. That's where the food is. A lot more walkers than last time, though. We're gonna die. It's either die here or die from hunger. Take your pick. Clem, maybe you should scope things out. You know the place better. Let me get a closer look. Can't be too careful. We barely got out of here. It was close. It sounds scary. There's a reason. We climb up there, but I don't know how that would get us inside. We need to get in there somehow. Maybe there's another way in. I used that bell to attract a walker before. Could try it again. They do like to follow sound. You look like you've got an idea. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it... Lewis, I vote Lewis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. You're basically a walking distraction. Okay, Prince Charming. Let's see those talents in action. I can't say no to a face like that. I'll go with you. Give you some cover. Fine, I'll do it. 
But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. I'll distract them until I see you guys reach safe cover. Then, I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck! See if it works. Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. You still got your gun? Just in case. Just in case. AJ, is there more? Keep it coming. Stand. Slowly. Don't yell. Don't try anything. I won't hurt you. I don't have to. What do you want? I just want food. Same reason you're here. Friends made a lot of noise out there. It wasn't hard to follow. You live close by? You knew about this place already and organized some effort to get inside. 
So you probably also knew the stash was there. Just passing through. Decided to see what we could scavenge. Uh-huh. And you just got extra lucky. You look a little young to be out on your own. You got a group. Count you plus the two outside, I'm thinking... Maybe more? You ask too many questions. I don't like it. Fine. We can play it like that. If you want. Now, I want to fill this pack real slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. <clears throat> well, hey there, Squirt. Playing hide and seek, are we? Now that's impolite. Don't steal from us. I'm not stealing. This isn't yours. I can kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. Listen up, Squirt. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me and let me go my merry. You understand? I'm just gonna take a little bit, then I'm leaving. Like it never happened. AJ, lower the gun. Clem, he's stealing our food. Alvin Jr., now! Wise woman. Clem, we're running out of time. We need to get out of here. Don't panic. I was just leaving. Thanks for dinner. Who in the fuck was that? Just take a bag and fill it up. To me, Marlon, listen to me. I am telling you, the place was ransacked. It's fine. We'll deal with it. Took y'all a while. How poor are they that have not patience? A Sim! Mitch! Check it out! Food! That's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. Like, seriously, it's a lot. Lewis and Violet help, too. Neither of them ever brought back this much before. Neither have you. Where did you find all this? The old train station. Clem knew where it was. Train station? That's outside the safe zone. We'd have even more, but we ran into the creep that fucked up our rabbit traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. Did he follow you? No, I let him have some food, and then we lost track of him in a swarm of walkers. You just let him take our food? What the fuck? Now he knows we're out here and he'll come back for more! What the hell were you thinking? This is fucked. How could you be so stupid? Wanna try stepping back, Brody? I'd recommend it. I'd recommend you getting your head out of your ass before we're all dead. I, I just can't. I won't. Just not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? 
She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! Just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious! Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible! Clem, I know I asked you for help. You did, you did, but... Shit. God, nothing's easy. No one died. You don't have to worry. I always do, though. Can't help it. <laughs> well, at least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Don't sweat it, Clem. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be alright eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. I think I'll go too. See you later. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. Being a walker is a lot worse than being dead. How do you know? Maybe being a walker is really nice. I doubt it. Me too. But it's not like you can go ask one. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too and Minnie be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess death doesn't scare me because I know I have something waiting on the other side. Someplace safe and happy. All of us together. Looks like a nice place to wind up. Yeah, I think so too. A lot better than some smelly old school. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. But sometimes I draw this too. Can... can I be there? Sure. You want to be there too? I promise I'll draw you well. Sure, why not? Oh, I almost forgot. Here you go. It's yours. It's ours. It's getting late. Yeah, you guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow.
Time for bed, little guy. Can I stay up? Nope. Two more minutes. Tell you what, you lay down, and then we'll see. You full from dinner? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was. I like it here. I got to kill fish. Violet didn't look like she was having fun. But I did. It's nice not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice too, before the blood. This isn't the ranch. Do you like it? I like it, now that I'm used to it. There's games and the walls make it feel safe. It's good for now, but places change, so do people. It might not stay good. Don't worry, we're not leaving. Clem. Yeah? You let that mean man go at the station. You let him take food from us. It wasn't right. I didn't like it. Don't be mad at me for saying that, though. No, say what you want to say, AJ. If we let people take from us, it makes us soft. So you're so tough, huh? <laughs> Who's Mr. Softy now? Stop! <laughs> That's what I thought. There, you gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. So used to lugging this everywhere, never knowing when we'd find any supplies. I feel a lot lighter. There, that's a good drawing. He's a good artist. Your picture is good too. Oh, I know. Good night, sleep tight, don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. One time, bang. <laughs> Good work, and thanks. There's voices in the pipes. I think someone's in trouble. Is it us? No, 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 not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. You got your gun. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. Stay safe. Just a little 
farther. Basement. This locks from both sides. Can't pick it. I have to find another way to the basement. A cellar door out in the yard. Entrance to the basement around here. <laughs> <laughs> 